LeBron was coaching his son Bryce at an AAU tournament, but he had to go see the 16-year-old who is supposed to change basketball. He just dropped a triple-double with 12 blocks, so LeBron sat courtside, and Cooper Flagg put on a show, smacked every shot near the rim, passing vision like Nikola Jokic. In another game, he split a triple team, passed to himself off the backboard, dunking in traffic. So LeBron pulled him to the side after the game, probably asking Cooper on tips to improve his game. But the crazy thing is Cooper Flagg isn't even the number one ranked prospect. That is Cameron Boozer, whose team beat Coopers in the championship game. But everyone walked away from the tournament with a third 16 year old's name on their mind. Not Cooper or Cameron, it's AJ DeBonsta. In fact, one NBA scout told The Athletic, if the best players from the 2023 and 24 draft played a seven game series against these 16 year olds, the young guys would sweep in four games. So again, if Victor Wimbanyama, Scoot Henderson, and next year's number one pick played Cooper, Cameron, and AJ, Wimby would get swept. How are these kids that good? Actually, they probably aren't. History says at least one of them will be a bust. You have to look back at other high school rankings to see how wrong people are about teenage kids. But which one will be a star? 20 NBA scouts and college coaches made the prediction and the answer is shocking. But first, Chime wanted me to sing a song. Like, summertime and building credits easy. Casey's on the mic with no annual fees. All the people building credits safely and we're well qualified to get paid two days early. And I said, I'm not doing that. I'm a serious YouTuber. People will laugh, but I'll just tell you that the Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card is a cheat code to building credit. You don't have a credit check or annual fees. Just use your own money to build credit. There's no monthly fees, no minimum balance or overdraft fees, but they still have over 60,000 fee-free ATMs. What is not to love? So start building your credit, open a Chime checking account with at least a $200 qualifying direct deposit to get started. Go to Chime Chime.com slash amhoops, that is chime.com slash amhoops. Now they said the song was optional, which I am not gonna do, but I have to say this. The Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card is issued by Stride Bank in a member FDIC. Chime checking account and a $200 qualifying direct deposit are required to apply. Out of network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. On time payment history may have a positive impact on your credit score. Imagine that. Late payment may negatively impact your credit score. Results may vary. And I am sorry to any Sublime fan. But Cooper Flagg is a 6'8", 200-pound 16-year-old from Maine. The best NBA player ever from Maine is Duncan Robinson. So Coop had to leave the state for better competition. He transferred to Montverde Academy in Florida, where NBA players like Cade Cunningham, Joel Embiid, and RJ Barrett have played. His first D1 offer came in eighth grade, but now every major university wants him on their roster. But Cooper is ranked number two. Number one is Cameron Boozer, son of NBA All-Star Carlos Boozer. Unfortunately, his most viral moment was trying to cover up bald spots with basically shoe polish. But Cameron has a full head of hair and is already 6'9", 215 pounds. When he was 15, Cam was getting buckets against NBA pros like Michael Beasley and Marvin Bagley. AJ DeBonsta is the number one recruit in the 2026 class. He is 6'7 and started varsity as an eighth grader. AJ was like a younger brother to Terrence Clark, who tragically died in a car crash right before the NBA draft. Clark showed him how to train like a pro and to reach his NBA dreams, but people are already acting like these three kids are in the NBA. You can see why coaches are pivoting to the 2025 and 2026 classes, not wanting to miss out on the elite, perhaps even generational talents. Generational? That's like saying the next LeBron or KD or Luka. Those are generational. Does the media learn nothing? Putting that expectation on kids can ruin them. In 2018, Imani Bates was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. In the article, they called him the next Kevin Durant. He had just finished freshman year of high school. At the time, he was a can't miss prospect. Six foot nine at 14 years old. Sound familiar? But in college, things fell apart. 
He averaged just seven points a game at Memphis with horrible efficiency. Eventually, he transferred to a small school closer to home and fell from the number one pick to a second rounder. How much of that was being in his head about disappointing everyone, about not living up? Could he even have a normal high school basketball experience? If Imani wasn't the next generational LeBron, he was a failure. That's totally unfair. Imagine feeling like you're a loser at 17 years old when you're actually extremely talented. That's what these expectations do. But the worst example was the guy ranked higher than LeBron James. Lenny Cook was number one over LeBron and Carmelo Anthony. He averaged 32 points a game as a senior, but he faced LeBron at the ABCD camp in 2002. LeBron ended up dominating that game, and Lenny's life was never the same. Several NBA teams wanted to draft him, but went back on his word when he didn't show up for workouts. So Lenny had to play in the Philippines and China before he tore both Achilles, before becoming one of those cautionary tales about projecting NBA greatness on a kid. But are the rankings always wrong? Let's go through the last 10 years of top three prospects. In 2012, it was Nerlens Noel number one, Shabazz Muhammad number two, and Isaiah Austin three. Zero all-stars, one of them didn't make the NBA. 2013, one bust Jabari Parker. 2014, no one panned out. 2015, top recruit lasted just four years in the league. 2016, disaster. 2017, had Marvin Bagley number one. 2018, two guys barely in the NBA anymore. 2019, one legit star. 2020 is actually looking decent with Cade, Jalen Green, and Evan Mobley. 2021, another decent class. So they're not always off, but those are senior year of high school. Cameron, Cooper, and AJ are 16 years old. History says even one of them becoming a star is unlikely, but which will it be? ESPN asked 20 NBA scouts and college coaches, and the answer is wild. Cooper Flagg got 12 first place votes. It doesn't matter that Cameron Boozer is ranked number one. One scout predicted NBA Defensive Player of the Year, but he does it on both ends, which is exciting at six foot eight and still growing. They also loved his mental makeup. Dude has a killer instinct, which you cannot coach. There's a chance Cooper skips a year to be the number one recruit in the NBA by 2025. But AJ DeBonsta got seven first place votes. He beat Cooper and Cam Boozer in scoring at that AAU tournament. But a coach said, DeBonsta is what the elite NBA players typically look like. Versatile guards in that 6'6", 6'8", range that you build your franchise around. Kobe, McGrady, Hill, Tatum, Kawhi, and Paul George. He has the potential to be in that mold. What? These comparisons are getting insane. So that means Cam Boozer only got one first place vote. A coach predicted he's probably an all-star type of player too, but he could just be a very good player. I think those other two are real franchise guys. So according to the experts, the most likely to pan out is Cooper Flagg by a mile. Then AJ DeBonsta with Cam Boozer third. But the truth is, we have no idea. So much can change between now and the 2025 draft. There's probably some 16 year old European player we don't even know about who ended up being better than all of them. But I'm sure a kid like Cooper Flagg loves all this attention. Who wouldn't at 16 years old? The NBA official Twitter account is tweeting his highlights. But sometimes that attention can turn on you if things go bad. We saw it with Imani Bates and now Zion Williamson. But the NBA will look completely different by the time they're in the league. There are new rules for how a team can get built. It's called the CBA and you might've heard how crazy these new rules are. So I decided to do a deep dive to see how much the NBA will change. Check it out.